sorry. Today is my birthday. Welcome to this special birthday episode and um, in honor of my birthday I thought that I would make a super super cool cake this green tea meal crepe cake cake. I'm sure some of you guys have seen it before. It reminds me a lot of like the German Baumkuchen with the layers and layers and a lot of people do it with chocolate but there is this green tea version where you make these really thin crepe pancakes from green tea and then you layer it in between layers of freshly whipped cream. It is an absolute showstopper but because it is my birthday I thought let's raise the difficulty up a little bit let's make this cake a little bit more special and I had seen uh, someone or some restaurant put a hunk of red bean paste sweetened red bean paste paste uh, inside this green tea crepe cake and it looked amazing so that is what I'm gonna be trying today. And we're lucky enough today to have this birthday episode sponsored by She's Beauty Thailand Foods. Um, they are of course a Scottish brand that are masters in vegan cheeses. They have such a massive uh, array in their site. So I will put them down below and uh, today we'll be using their vegan cream cheese to be making our cream. So I hope you guys all enjoy. So before anyone says anything, I definitely overloaded that cake with too much cream. So I have adjusted it down in the bottom to just about half of the amount, but I'll tell you guys that the cream was actually pretty darn good. Now we're going to start off with the gluten-free, something I didn't mention, matcha crepes first. And it's just a cup of a gluten-free flour mix. I added some cornstarch, some baking powder, some date sugar, a little bit of salt. Every Everything is going to be down below. And then of course that green tea matcha. So what I like to do to get rid of a lot of the lumps from the green tea first is to put in a little bit of liquid and then get my batter smooth before I add in the rest of it. So I have the induction heater between low to medium. You're not looking to really cook or brown the crepes, right? You're almost looking to kind of dry it out. But it does need to be hot enough where it will solidify the crepe. And uh, I, I actually flipped it over here because it was really too hot for me to handle. But um, essentially after one side is cooked, kind of get it to release uh, onto a plate and make your next one. A 
I think I probably made around 15 crepes, but it really depends on the size that you're doing. I'd say probably uh, seven inches or so in diameter uh, is a good aim. So now time for the whipped cream. I'm actually, uh, that's actually one can of uh, coconut cream that I stuck in the freezer for a couple of hours. And I'm adding in three tablespoons of the She's cream cheese. And the reason I'm doing that is uh, sometimes when you whip coconut cream, it, it is not stable at all. It kind of just melts away, right? And so I wanted to give the cream a structure uh, while adding just, just a little bit of tang. This is not going to be like cheesecake. I added about a quarter teaspoon of guar gum because I heard that that may help to stabilize the cream some more. And then finally, uh, just a couple tablespoons of powdered sugar. It's really to your liking. Again, all of these things is to make sure that the cream is stable and holds up in my birthday cake. So now time for the assembly and this part gets a little bit messy because you're supposed to kind of hand spread the cream so that it's really nice and thin. And of course I'm trying to make that kind of free form ball of red bean paste, which um, I will put the recipe uh, down below for you guys as well, uh, inside this cake. So it kind of just takes some time. It takes a little bit of patience. In filling the crepes, I knew that I couldn't fill the in-betweens with too much cream. I knew that the layers had to be really thin, but somehow naturally I just thought, oh, the cream is gonna kind of settle and melt and everything will weigh it down, so it, I should make it a little bit thicker. That is wrong, <laughs> as you guys could see how, how uh, big that layer of cream was. So just make sure and spread it nice and thin. Don't worry about it, it will, it will show up because the layers will do its thing, it will show up. So um, not as thick as that, but man, that cream is really, really good. I somehow thought at the end that I could squish everything down and just scrape off the cream uh, afterwards and even, you know, use it for my sides to decorate. But um, I don't know, that, that didn't really work out. So I did what any other pastry chef would do in this instance, and that is to dust the heck out of it with some matcha powder up on top. It's nice and pretty and green.
gosh, is that actually so pretty. And it cut really well. I stuck it back into the fridge for about 20 minutes before I cut into it. But even with all that cream, it is, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. And the, the middle ball of red bean paste came out so well. Well, thank you everyone for celebrating this birthday with me. I hope you all enjoyed watching uh, the cake being made. It, I just think it turned out so well. This was my first time making it and it doesn't always turn out great, but the cream was amazing. The crepes were amazing. It's so, so good. And as I always say for like the millionth time now, uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching. And as usual, if you want to see more recipes like this, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Go tell your friends. <laughs> and I will see you guys all again real soon. Bye.